Hey guys, we saying it's Renee Scarlett and I'm back with another video. So as you saw from my intro, that is a new one I'm gonna be saying. What are you saying? Because I feel like no one has that and I actually say that sometimes, not a lot, but sometimes I catch myself saying it. And then one day I said it and I was like should say that on my channel that should be my one of my intros or like an intro thing because i'm trying to like have my own style stuff you know like have my own unique thing so when you guys hear it you know that it's me so um let me know if you like that one i know in my last video i had one but how you doing i realized that what's her name wendy williams that lady she has it and i i don't want to be copying her so i got my own one so let me know what you guys think down downstairs downstairs you know <laughs> <laughs> down below in the comment section okay so today's video is going to be about my testimony um i asked a question on my snapchat about um what videos i should do and like video suggestions and stuff if you guys don't follow me on snapchat by the way my name will be right here on the screen you should go and add that add that add that um but yes so i asked people on my snapchat what kind of videos would you like me would like to see and what video would you like me to film and somebody uh, messaged me back shout out to jade i know she watches my videos thank you for giving me the suggestion she suggested that i do my testimony video so today that's what i'm gonna do and um i've been meaning to do it for a long time but um i just haven't done it and so when she said it i was like yes why not do that that's so important to like my whole life my testimony is like the most important thing to me and it's the only thing that no one can take away from me so um yes let's get into the video so as some of you may not know some of you probably do but i am a church girl i grew up in church i've been born in church that's church is all i know my parents got saved in church they got married in church and they had me and my other sibling you know church was not like a foreign thing to me i knew all about church and it came to the point where i knew so much about church that it became like a routine like an act like i would be able to act like a christian and it was like it's really scary when you get to that point where you're in church and you're so good at it like so good at playing that kind of role that you forget that you know the real reason why you're in church is for your own salvation and obviously because i grew up in church from when i was a baby you know being in church is all i knew so i thought that just going to church was was fine like just going to church and just like anyone will go to the park on a sunday like i went to church on a sunday so it's like very normal for me so when i grew up i realized that i needed to have my own salvation and you know when i was eight years old even though it seems quite young when i was eight years old i put my hand up and i said you know i want to get saved so me and my friends we went to the altar and we prayed and that's the day that i accepted jesus into my life at eight years of age and um you know before that and even during that i felt like that you know being going to church and just because my parents were saved that that automatically made me saved i thought just because i attended church and i was you know involved in like ministries and stuff I felt like just because that was happening then oh automatically yes I'm going to heaven but no 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 that was not the case and um, you know after so many sermons and after just growing in my maturity and getting older I realized that I needed my own relationship with God and so um, when I was in secondary school I you know I was saved I was a Christian and um, there was a lot of bad influences around me like you know boys and just like just different things like you know parties and like drinking and all this stuff even though I didn't get involved in any of that kind of stuff I did talk to boys and stuff and boys um you know influenced me a lot and so um you know because I was living that kind of lifestyle that wasn't pleasing to God you know it caught up with me and you know I had to reevaluate my my whole life and my salvation and I had to think if I die today where am I gonna go I didn't even I like I didn't even think about it until then and I was like and this at this time I was 15 years old so I was like in year 9 year 10 so um you know I was older now and so like I had that kind of I could kind of think like that and um yeah to be like 
you know where am i gonna go like if jesus was to come back if it was judgment day it's just gonna be me alone my parents are not gonna be there all this silly stuff that i was getting involved with is never ever gonna grant me going to heaven god is not happy with the life that i'm living and you know like if you see it like this your parents being disappointed in you is like the worst ever thing that can happen like when my parents got were disappointed in me for the things that i was like going getting up to it like it hurt but then when you think about how much you're hurting god with the things that you're doing it's like jesus died on the cross for us he died on the cross for our sin and i'm out there you know we're out there doing a madness and he died for us and we're and we're just enjoying ourselves and you know living it up and not even giving praise and thanks and glory and our lives to the one who gave his life for us so um you know that day i went to church that sunday and i was like you know i didn't even listen to the sermon or i did listen to the sermon that sounds bad i meant that I, I wasn't even paying attention to what he, the pastor was saying really because I was just like, you know, today I'm going to get saved. Like, um, it doesn't matter what the sermon is about. I know that I'm, when as soon as he says, whoever wants to give their life to Christ, put your hands up. I'm putting my hand up. So that's what happened. I put my hand up and, you know, obviously it's really like, it can be quite embarrassing because you've got to go to the front. So obviously I was really nervous about that. But then I had to, I had to take away my flesh and not think about that kind of thing like who cares who's watching me you know like jesus is all that matters and like my life being saved and my life being whole and secure in jesus christ is all that matters and so um yeah put my hand up i went to the altar and i gave my life to christ and that has honestly been the best day of my life no other day will ever compare to that day never and i'm so thankful i've i've just grown and matured so much in christ i'm still learning like there's so much i need to learn jesus is still saving me he's still he's still you know renewing me with more and more every single day but i'm so grateful to god for like for just giving his life for me and you know now that i can now i can live in freedom now i can you know just be so calm and relaxed i can be happy i have the ultimate joy it's just so amazing being saved and um you know going to church and living for christ and um that has been the best day of my life and i will, won't regret it and i won't ever ever turn back and obviously i've had my hard times you know you know we all we all sin and fall short of the glory of god so obviously there's been times where i've fallen and you know what i've just gotten right back up and um I'm just so grateful for what Jesus Christ has done for my life and I hope this testimony and what I've said helps you because I know that some people may be watching this video and they might be they might have grown up in church they might think that maybe they don't have a testimony because that's what I thought I thought I've never drunk I've never smoked I've never done all of this you know what kind of testimony do I have I have nothing special to say but Jesus your testimony is evidence of what Jesus has done in your life and Jesus has done so much and he's still doing so much in my life and um, the fact that I can sit here and speak to you guys is, is just so much like I'm just so thankful that I can do that and um, you know that's the best testimony of all the fact that you don't have to do all of that and Jesus can still save you that says so much about you know Jesus and who he is so um, I hope this video touched you and that you guys got something from this video and I will see you guys in my next video Bye. Been ripping, ripping, I've been out here. I've been trying to save my family from the world. Yeah. But they keep rejecting them. But I tell them no. Yeah.